Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. EA did it, guys. They dropped the insane Ronaldinho SBC, and oh boy, is it expensive. Six and a half million coins, but there's part of it that everybody needs to be doing. I'll talk to you about that today. And besides that, EA really disappointed with these cards right here. The best of batch number two. They messed up with one specific thing with that. And we're going to cover all the content that dropped yesterday with Footies Team 3. And look forward into today on Saturday for a leaked SBC that kind of has to be dropping today. So we're talking all that more in today's video. If you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, and let's start with something positive from yesterday's content. We're going to objectives because we have another cup, guys, and it's not just a normal cup. This cup is a big one. It's kind of like that stepped up objective like we have with the weekend league monthly bonus right now, where as you win, you get better packs and players along with it. Footies win doll, footies Ivan Jaime, and then of course footies Ahmed Musa all the way at the bottom here with winning 12 matches for a 99 pace Ahmed Musa and then at the end completing all of this you get a 96 rated Thomas Lamar five star five star high high rated midfield card play right left or center midfield really amazing dribbling stats amazing all around the card a little bit low on aggression but for a free card you could say through the footies cup which you can play six matches per day on with two footies players in the squad it was a glitch for a little bit yesterday but it is working now ea fixed that pretty quick that's a w objective right there in my opinion especially because of all the fodder packs that you get alongside of it so ggs the ea for the cup we needed that and we love that and then also the anaki williams i was just playing some weekend league games and got three sections of it knocked out not that hard to do five star skills on the anaki williams they also moved his work rates right high medium this is a w super sub uh or just a cheap b striker or good fodder right if uh, you need some fodder for other uh sbcs especially that big sbc that is out right now so that for objectives yesterday was a very positive part of the promo now let's turn to a little bit of the negative guys we're talking about the cards that are in packs now we already knew about the footies cards right and as expected they started out pretty cheap yesterday there were some crazy fluctuations in the first hour captavia went from like 570k all the way to 800,000 coins he's now back down sancho went from like 550 to 700 um carval hall was almost a hundred thousand coins guys i don't under, I do understand why the price is like this on this card. I think he is very overpriced right now. It's because there's a lot of La Liga hype. Rodrigo was last week. We had the Kunde that was dropped yesterday in SBCs. A lot of Real Madrid links, a lot of La Liga hype right now in this game. I just think that this card is stupid overpriced for how much we saw him packed on Thursday when the cards got released early for, you know, we packed him yesterday in a couple of player picks on share plays. 400k for this card. Again, I know the links are great, and that explains a lot of the price. The card is great as well. Carver Hall is always really good. But that price is really, really crazy for me, given how much I think he's getting packed in this game and how much he's going to continue to get packed in this game over the weekend. So just be a little careful on that one. To me, that's more of like a 200K type card. And right now, he's double that at 400,000 coins. But the rest of the pr prices of these cards seem to make sense the most part for me. Al Awayrens maybe a little cheaper than I thought he was going to be. Um, Neves, Carlos are cheap. Neymar, of course, 8 million coins. Who's surprised? Jesus, 1.5 mil. That was the only trade that I made yesterday. A good flip on him. Made over 100,000 coins. So that was a good one there. So not too many surprises there. But the disappointing thing is best of batch number two does not include a single team of the season card it is only team of the years and some of those promos that happened after team of the year foot fantasy foot birthday um future stars and some of the icons and heroes involved with those promos as well there's even a couple of cards that have been re-released like remember packing that annoying road to the knockouts ikone card the last two weeks yeah, he's back. And also for two weeks, these cards are going to be in packs as well. One of the only caveats of this that is a W is instead of just having 100 players in packs, there's 150 players. And we opened a couple of player picks yesterday. It seems like you get special cards out of player picks very often and even more often than you did last two weeks with best of batch one. So that is a nice thing. But once again, we needed team of the season cards, man. And of course, since Tots cards are not in packs, Tots card prices continue 
to be very inflated. I'm, I'm pretty sure with the Dino SBC out as well, how much are tots in this market right now? 40, 42K, 43K, is that what I saw right there? 45K, 45,000 coins for a singular team of the season card. If those would have been at least 20 or 30 of them in packs um, in this game right now, that would be a lot different. So I'm just, I'm just bummed. I'm disappointed that those cards are not in packs right now. And that kills a little bit of the hype once again. And it's, again, two weeks that these cards are out. At least team of the years are in packs right now, but it's still disappointing. EA, we can do better. Why are you milking this, man? Just drop the cards in packs that we need to do these SBCs to make our lives a lot easier because of the time of the game that we're in. But regardless of that, speaking of SBCs, we had a couple good ones yesterday. First of all, we have to talk about this Kunde. I mean, all the hypes around this Ronaldinho right now, right? But this Kunde is a little slept on. Also, a little bit worse than I think he could have been. He's not a premium card. He doesn't have a five-star weak foot. Those two things for me would make this card unbelievable. But the price here is not bad because just like Rodrigo a couple last week, not a couple weeks ago, that was just last week, this is a very meta card in game. His team of the season card is unreal, and this one is even better. It's not that big of an upgrade, but, you know, still high, high work rates. He can play center back, right back, and a really, really good card. 563,000 coins. His price of the SBC is going up slightly because higher rated fodder is going up, but very craftable if you're not doing Ronaldinho or if you wanted to do a very meta center back card. That is a really good SBC, and a lot of people are liking it. 82% upvote for that Kunde SBC card that got dropped yesterday. So, I mean, not as boosted as we maybe want it to be, but a W for sure. Also, the Batch 2 player pick, W Price. I mean, for a chance at packing Team of the Year Messi, uh, Benzema, Virgil van Dijk, if you haven't had a chance at any of those guys, for an 82-rated squad, or sorry, not an 82, an 84-rated squad, um, no inform requirement or nothing inside of this, that's a W in my book as well. I don't think I have enough 84s right now to do this one. Yeah, my club is pretty bare in terms of gold fodder. Um, but that's a W one, man. You open some weekend league rewards, you throw some extra 83s and 84s into that, and boom, you have a chance at hitting foot birthday icon, Mateus, stuff like that. I'll leave the link to the batch two that is in packs right now down below in the comments or in the description of this video. So you can check that out there. I know it's kind of difficult to find these links. EA don't do an amazing job of posting these uh, in the right places. So I'll put that down below in the comments, in the description, if you want to see that there. And then of course, we have to talk about the big SBC, and that is Ronaldinho. And man, right away, and the first thing that I thought and we were talking about and just seems crazy about this SBC is 33 freaking squads. And I have to say, it's a little more expensive than we thought and we wanted it to be. But again, it's still coming in at a price, even with 492 rated squads in the requirements. It's still coming in at a price right now of about 6 million coins. Fodder, guys, is going up. It is. Fodder is going up on the high tier. 92s, 93s, 94s, 95s. That fodder is going up, which is making this SBC go up a lot more. When he first came out, it was a 5.7 million coin SBC. Right now, 6.5 mil because of how many people are doing this and especially how many people need those higher rated cards to get this SBC done. You know, the 88s to the 90s, that's not a problem. You're opening 85 10s, you're opening player picks, you're getting those cards because those are the types of cards that are in packs right now. The problem lies with the higher rated squads and that's where people are having to go buy cards to get it done. That's why fodder is going up. But 33 squads is the issue I have with this. I think they could have gotten to a price range of like 5 million coins where this SBC probably should be at, would be a little bit more likely that more people would do it at 5 million coins flat. They could have gotten there with less than 33 squads. And the reason I don't like that many squads is that's 363 players. I think we did the math. 363 players you have to turn in to get this one Ronaldinho. Yes, you get some packs back, but the packs are not that amazing. At least they're tradable. So if you do hit something insane, you'll be able to sell it and maybe make some coins back from the SBC. But I wish we were getting like 85 fives or 83 times fives or 83 fours at least inside of these packs here and tradable. Give us some extra fodder back to help us in, to be motivated to do the rest of this SBC. So I got to say, this is the kind of the biggest flex card in the game right now. If you have this cover star icon Ronaldinho and you're doing the SBC, it is literally going to be the biggest flex of an SBC player probably for the rest of the year on Ultimate Team. 98 rated, 5 star, 5 star. Guys, you have to do the loan. You got to do the loan squad of this. You're not committing to the whole entire SBC. Do the 84 rated squad. Try him out. Use him in friendlies. I used him in the first four games of Weekend League. Yes, I used the loan in Weekend League just to try him out. Okay, don't be worried. Uh, I'm not that big of a rat. But 
man, amazing card. And you can tell with the pace boost, he is very, very good. I've used Prime Dino for like 140, 150 games, and there is a noticeable difference with that. With the weak foot, the dribbling, and the pace on this version of Dino, you just have to decide for you, is it worth the grind? Now, I know a lot of people can't even afford this, but make sure you go and get, uh, they can't afford the full SPC, but make sure you can go and get that, that loan because it is a nice one. And yeah, if you're going to do this, go ahead and do it, right? Of course, you have to think about opportunity cost. For me right now, I'm very tempted to do it because yes, I could gut my club and get a lot of it done. I've got a lot of cards in my club that could take out 92 rated squads with ease. Some 94, 95 rated cards that have just been sitting there, maybe for more sentimental purposes or cards that I'm just not going to use for the rest of the game. So I'm sitting on the fence right now. What I might wait to do to decide if I want to try to craft that is wait and see and the upgrade packs that we get on Monday and just see how grindable it's going to look for the next week and how easily I'll be able to add cards in terms of fodder to my club. But if you're like, nah, man, that's not for me, that's fine. I think a lot of people are there, but if you're going to go for it and try it, good luck, have fun. And it does, it does feel kind of nice to have an insane SBC like that to get excited about for an insane card to go and grind after so make sure you do the loan that's the best thing i can say to you guys for that spc right there and since with all of that content dropping yesterday the overall feeling for a lot of people i think was man this is kind of an l day of content dino is crazy expensive i can't afford him and you know yeah we had kunde that was nice yeah we had the player pick that was nice but no tots cards and packs Hey, that's an L. Um, a lot of the market went up. Griezmann was a million coins yesterday before the content drop. He's up to 1.2. Marco Royce was 430,000 coins. A lot of the footies team two cards went up a ton in value as people went rushing back to the market to buy these cards because the new ones from team three are still a bit expensive. And uh, from team two, those, you know, people were trying to pack those all last week. Their prices were down. They wanted to go get some of those. Yaya Torre was like 2.5. He's up to 2.7. Kessie's up 100,000 coins. Shout out to the Kessie SBC, or sorry, the uh, Kunde SBC that Kessie links to very well with his premium links as well. So um, there's a lot of La Liga hype as well. Rodrigo, Kessie, and then you've got the um, the Diego, no, the Kunde, not Diego Carlos. The Kunde that was dropped yesterday. Diego Carlos is really cheap, though. Really great card for a great price. But a lot of the market rebounded back. Some shapeshifters and team of the season cards did as well. Um, and then, of course, everything that is in packs for best of batch two is down a lot. Virgil van Dyke, I think it was like 900,000 coins. He was kind of dropping all day. What is VVD right now? He is 550K. So he's dropping because he's in packs. Makes sense. Messi team of the year. I would love to hit a Messi team of the year. Uh, at this stage, he's 1.4 mil. He was 1.8 mil. So yes, of course, those cards that are in packs are dropping a lot and center backs are specifically mudded um that vvd was probably hurt a little bit because of the kunde i'm looking at guys like Eder militao team of the season as well this is why you guys saw me buy him earlier in the week but i knew that i was not going to hold on to this card he is down 300k 700,000 coins from where he was just a couple of days ago and i think kunde and his team of the year Eder militao's team of the year being in packs has a say on why his price is down that much now speaking of the market we got to talk about fodder, guys, and we're going to get into it today with Saturday content, and I don't want to make this video too long because I know that right now it's kind of the end game and, and everything, but um, fodder right now, guys, I think we got to get in. We have to get in because just this is how the weekly movements are going with fodder. If you don't get in on a Friday or a Saturday or even a Sunday, depending on how today's content goes, by the time we get to Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, it's just gone and it's to the moon. And I'm looking at the middle tier of the market once again. If you take a look at the high tier, as we mentioned, 92s are up. 93s are 50K a piece, right? These guys didn't get re-released back into packs. Even Di Maria, who was one of the cheapest 93s yesterday alone on Friday, went from 36K to 50K where he is now. Uh, you, you take a look at team of the season, Harry Kane, the cheapest 95 rated card on the market. He went from 60,000 coins to 77k where he is now all your 94s went from about 40k or maybe they're a little more than that eric by is 60,000 coins how much were these the 94s had some crazy rides is 47k to 58 60,000 coins because they're not in packs and they're in so much demand for those high rated squats for dino you could see those prices go higher throughout the the latter part of this week because again not a lot of those guys are in packs and they're needed to do the cheapest solutions for the 92 rated and 91 rated squads of the Ronaldinho. So keep an eye out for those there. But if you want to invest and stock your club, which I'm going to be doing here very soon, 
84s, 85s, and 86s are the place on the market where fodder can go higher because probably a lot of the SBCs we'll get throughout the rest of this week will be again in that cheaper range 85 times 10 comes back on monday i'm almost sure of it right it's going to expire on monday and we've been doing it two times a week now for the past week as we get into monday hopefully this sbc comes out as five or ten times a day repeatable and that just means even more demand for the 84 to the 86 side of the market which makes me want to even invest in these cards a little bit more last week you know 85s were about what seven thousand coins yeah they were rising on friday they went to, they were like 7.6k and they went all the way to ten thousand coins right you have to be careful with some of these 85s and 86s that you buy even 84s their price ranges are kind of low like that um this fakir price range of ten thousand coins I would try to find an 85 if you're trying to go in for a specifically just an investment perspective. Try to find one that's got a price range over of 10K, 11K for Jordi Alba. If you can find one with like a 12 or 13, does Nabry have a higher one? He's 11,000 coins as well. That'll just give you a little bit of extra ceiling room if there's so much great content that comes out in the next couple of days um, and those prices could go a bit higher. That would just give you a couple extra um, maybe 1,000 coins of like ceiling, if you will. Gundawan's 11,000 coins. Uh, Jan Sommer is... Okay, it looks like a lot of them are 10 to 11K. I would just do a club stock at the very least of 84s, 85s, and 86s. That way, your life is going to be a lot easier later on this week when these card prices probably jump up to, you know, 86s were 12K multiple times this last week. Uh, you see Mendy, 12K on Monday. Mendy, 12K on Wednesday. Um, and then on Sunday as well, he went to 12K. So, again, 86s at like... 9k lows 85s under 7k or right around 7k and then 84 is as close to 4,000 coins as you can get hop on the bids weekend league rewards people are opening those packs getting those players tradable i think probably today on saturday either it's early or late depending on the content that we get that's probably going to be the best time to buy that fodder i'm not really expecting uh massive content today if i really think about it that much there's one sbc leak that i think is almost a guarantee to be dropped today and it's this man joe cole is coming as a hero footies the last two weeks of footies we've had a hero sbc on saturday it would make sense for this one to be dropped today as well since it was leaked by foot sheriff um a few hours ago this one seems very likely if you need to do it if you want to do it if this is a player that interests you which i think a lot of people it will interest them for probably a good bit cheaper could be five star five star could be a really nice card so maybe you stock some fodder for that as well Hopefully, it's a few hundred thousand coins, not super crazy expensive, but that's an SBC that I think could be today. And then this pack code, 83 times 100 rare gold players pack. The only one of these packs right now that is in the store is the Footies Echo pack, which gives you uh, six players, 87 plus from best of batch two. We do not have the premium replay pack yet, um, and I would expect to see more store packs today. I'm just very curious to see if they go all out and do the 83 times 100 i mean that also could be an sbc guys and if they do that sbc i don't even know that would be an sbc that ea could you know put out or a pack that ea would put out and a lot of people would want to do it because a footies are in packs and best of and b you've got a ronaldinho that if you think about opening that pack that would give you loads of fodder for working on the ronaldinho so Again, I don't know when that's going to drop or where that's going to drop. Um, I honestly think that, you know what? The more that I think of it, that might be an SBC. It'd be a crazy SBC, and it would probably be way too expensive to do. But that would be one that they could drop in there. Or, of course, the easy route would be the store. But uh, some of that could be dropping on this game today. Other than that, you know, Saturdays have been pretty quiet. One thing I would tell you is if you're looking into any of the footies cards that are in packs right now, just maintain you're you're just being careful with these right um alloway run if you want to go and try him out for the weekend league games today you know he's 2.6 mil 2.7 a lot of these cards in my opinion will be lower by the time we get to tomorrow's video sunday morning than they are right now on saturday morning the usual right the usual fluctuations with cards that come into packs for a new promo team especially like gabriel jesus is very rare you take a look at how many cards he actually has on the market he had like three or four pages earlier how many does he have right now? One, two, three. He's got like three plus um, three cards in the next page. That's really, really rare. I mean, Neymar is pretty rare, of course, but, you know, that's what you expect. So just be careful with these guys today. Wow, one page, that's it? Dang. All right, Neymar is definitely rare. So be careful. Those cards will probably drop off some. And uh, other than that, yeah, 
probably a pretty quiet day for the rest of the market, I would have to imagine. Today on this game of Saturday, unless the Jill Cole SBC is crazy or unless EA have some tricks up their sleeve, either, either to supply cards tradable on the market or to drop some sort of content or SBC that would just be unexpected but i'm expecting a quiet day and of course get out there grind those weekly games i am playing right now i played with the lone dino absolutely blast uh to try him out i also tried gabriel jesus man that card is cracked this is the team we're probably going to rock through the rest of the weekend league with at this time we'll rock with prime dino um trying out podolski but might end up putting in kane or check at striker just because those guys are just built different um and then yeah loving the rest of the team right now atal's a bit of a weak link in the midfield but he's there purely for the Renato Sanchez chemistry. Without him, Renato's on one camp, which might be good enough. Um, but yeah, this is the squad we're working with right now. Trying to get to 11 wins as we normally do. And uh, we'll be on the road to getting... Uh, I'll get Buchanan. I haven't got him yet. Didn't play last week in league. And then an 85 times 10. And I'm on the fence, guys. I know I said it earlier, but I'm very close to submitting an SBC for Ronaldinho to going for it. Just because... Like, when else am I going to get an opportunity to use a card like this? It's the end game. I know it'll set me behind. It'll probably cost me a, uh, a few coins. But, um, man, I've got a club full of cards that is just high rated galore, man. And, yeah, I know I like to keep cards around for sentimental reasons just to remember them. Uh, but if there's no sentimental value, like, you know, if I really think about it, am I going to use this Hakan Shalhanoglu that much more? No. Am I going to use this Cavani? No. Those would look really good turning into Ronaldinho crafting that into him am i going to use this petite no even though i packed this figo first day of shapeshifters am i going to use him no i'll remember that i packed him right that's good enough right so i'm contemplating right now whether to full send that sort of stuff uh you know del piero up mcconnell this right card um even you know like that pedri tots card zola even i mean zola i might have to keep at least for a little while longer because he's pretty cracked harry Maguire, like Guys, I've got so many cards here in the club that I could put a really big dent in the Dino SBC, especially the higher rated cards, higher rated squads, um, and I could uh, get him done pretty, I think, a lot sooner than I even realized. Look at all these 94s, man. Like, oh, Nesta's in here, Neuer. I got a lot of cards in here, guys, and I think I could really, I could do a number on that SBC. I would think that I could maybe get 10 to 15 squads done just maybe from the club. Maybe not. I don't have a ton of golds, but uh, we do have a lot in the club. So I'm on the fence. I might wait until Monday, though, to lock that in just until I see what the 85 times 10 situation looks like, the price, and that will really impact a lot of the crafting for this next upcoming week and how at least I personally look at that Dino SBC. So if you enjoyed the video today, guys, drop a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you think I should do Dino or not, or if you're doing Dino or not at all as well on your account. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's been Nathan Wood Accountant. See you guys in the video tomorrow. Peace.